Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Untitled Reviews. This time around it's our first time reviewing a microphone from reputable budget manufacturers Fifine and notably the K052. Now this gooseneck microphone has been spoken of highly by other content creators and appears to receive pretty high praise. And at a price of $39.99 it's certainly cheap for a microphone but does it stand out from the crowd? In this instance the front and the back of the box are exactly the same with a Fifine technology logo and drawing of the K052 microphone. And inside the box it's a pretty simple affair as well, with the microphone itself complete with instruction manual and contact information for Fifine themselves. If you turn that over um, and register the product you do also get a two year warranty. Okay so when it comes to design you may notice that the K052 is unlike most conventional microphones. Compared to the Rode NT-USB that I use and others uh, in their range, the K052 makes use of, a of a, an untypical gooseneck design. And to be honest, on first impressions, I'm pretty surprised by its sturdiness. Cheap uh, goosenecks tend to droop, uh, as per some reviewers, uh, and the K052 is unlike that completely. Featuring two pivot points on the shaft, no laughing, uh, one kind of plain metal rod in the middle for extra stability, and two pivot points, one at the top to control the microphone, and the other at the bottom to control pretty much where you want it to go so I can move it close to the camera or further away and pretty much anywhere in a 360 degree direction and it will remain flat and stable. And now for a small cut. Okay, so I hope you've all recovered after that small cut. Uh, and on to the second part about the design of the K052. Now, currently there's a close up on the, the kind of stand part of this uh, with the fact that this features built in volume and mute controls which is a really nice feature considering that it's not really on other budget goosenecks or USB microphones apart from the ones that Fifine makes such as the, the K669 or the K670 and the K052 is no exception at all. Uh, to be honest, it's not even on other high-end pieces like the Rode NT-USB or the Blue Snowball. Only the Blue Yeti has those if you want them on the mic itself, and you'll be paying double the price of that for the K052. Now, there is an indicator LED below the mute button, which in itself features some pretty tactile feedback. It's green when the, when the mic's on and you know you're live, and it's red, like so, when you know you're not. Now, unfortunately, there is no additional 3.5mm headphone jack um, present on it unlike other microphones for a direct audio feed from the microphone to your headphones. More premium and traditional podcaster microphones may have this. It's useful for some, but might not be for others. But rest assured that the K052 certainly is a really damn sturdy microphone and certainly blows a lot of more expensive competition out of the water on that front. Now, before judging the audio quality of the K052, it's worth considering the price before judging any audio quality. For a USB microphone... Certainly of this sturdiness, $39.99 is on the lower end of the scale, and the K052 appears to exceed its price range once again. Now it utilises a cardioid pattern like most condenser microphones, which picks up more at the front and the back. And being a condenser mic means that it's ideal for voices as opposed to instruments. Now there is a great pickup range with this and a remarkably crisp sound. I mean I'm currently using this on the, the medium gain control, sat probably around half a foot away to be honest. And, you know, with, with the gain control on the mic and natively in programs such as Audacity, help to make up the difference if you want to sit, say, a couple of feet further away. Now, if I sit further away and move and double the distance, sure, the sound volume has gone down, but I can turn it up and adjust accordingly thanks to the, the built-in gain control, something that, as I say, my Rode NT-USB doesn't even have. So... In that regard, the K052 really does exceed its price range and is certainly worth a pickup. But one thing that might be of small issue is that it only records in mono on Audacity that might put off some, but with a, a couple of clicks in the program, you can turn that into stereo in no time at all. So, in conclusion then, should you buy Fifine's K052 microphone? Well, it's certainly a brilliant option for those first timers in content creation or wannabe podcasters. And what you're getting here is a well-built, sturdy, decent quality microphone from a name that's becoming a rising star in the budget microphone scene. And if a traditional, a traditional podcasting microphone isn't your style, a gooseneck offers more vers versatility. And the K052 certainly is the best in the budget class. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And if you like what you see here, there will be an Amazon link down in the description where you can purchase this microphone as well. And thank you very much for watching.